I saw you standing Under the stars I knew it would be the last time Scrolling through the memories Of when we began I couldn't find a single But thank you for your input in our lives and shaping us and who we are today. And it means so much to my wife and I. of Joseph and Diane to celebrate one of the biggest days of their lives, um, their wedding ceremony. And so we're so thankful that you're here today. And today is a significant day because it marks the, the beginning of their new life together as one. And so today you guys are going to publicly proclaim your love for one another as well as affirm your commitment to one another. Joseph and Diane, today is one of the most significant and defining moments of your lives. And there's been other defining moments, whether you realize that or not. Uh, for example, the day you were born, right? But there's other big moments in your life. For example, the first, your first day of school, or perhaps your first date, or your first kiss, or your first real job, or your first real paycheck. There's defining moments in life. And here's the reality is that there's going to be other defining moments in life for each of you to experience. But the difference now is that you guys will experience those moments together. And today, this is a new day that you will always remember because this is a defining moment when two became one. You've been preparing for this day for several years, whether you realize it or not. Actually, you've been preparing for this day your entire life. You see, everything you've ever experienced, every blessing, every heartache, every gift and talent that has been developed, every hope and desire expressed or unexpressed, all of these things you are now giving to each other and you continue to receive from one another during the rest of your lives. Of course, let me tell you this, in this package there are some not so desirable gifts, such as dirty socks, such as toilet seats left in the wrong position. And at times there's gonna be a strong need to be right. In marriage, you get it all. But the reality is this, that intimate knowledge is a lifelong quest, matched only by the challenge of being faithful in your acceptance of this other person in spite of the knowledge that you will acquire. You see, our culture, they tend to define love as this feeling or deep affection. But we all know that love is more than that. So as we talk about this idea of love, I felt like it would be fitting for us to look at what biblical love looks like and how it's defined. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the Apostle Paul writes to the church in Corinth, and he says this, he says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but it rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things. It believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. 
love never ends. If you notice in verse 7, it says that love endures all things. And so here's what that tells us about love. That true love is not dependent on circumstances, but it stands firm in adversity. To honor and sustain her. In sickness as in health. In poverty as in wealth. In both the good times and the bad. And to be true to her until death alone shall part you. Diane, in taking Joseph to be your husband, do you promise to love and cherish him? To honor and sustain him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in both the good times and the bad, and to be true to him until death alone shall part you. I do. You guys have the rings. Joseph, you can place the ring on Diane's finger. I, Joseph, take you, Diane. I, Joseph, take you, Diane. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish till death do us part. To love and cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. This room and with this ring, I pledge you my love. I pledge you my love. Diane, would you please place the ring on Joseph's finger? I, Diane, take you, Joseph. I, Diane, take you, Joseph. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish till death do us part. To love and cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And with this ring. And with this ring. I pledge you my love. I pledge you my love. Let us pray. Joseph, you may kiss your friend. <coughs> At this time, the bride and groom will be planting a plant, signifying the joining of their lives together. The commitment that they have made to one another and the strength and nurturing each of them will provide to the relationship as they grow and mature together. Family, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to introduce you to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph and Diane Hewitt. We look out and see the world It takes everything we have to face it Without a sound we take a step Inside our hearts are racing If it takes forever we'll get God felt this compassion for people in Diane and a strong will to show it. Together I think these two can serve people and point them to Jesus in ways that they never could have done it individually. This, after all, is what marriage is ultimately about. Diane and Hank go hand in hand. So we're very thankful for the both of them. After getting to know him, I feel like he's the perfect person for her. And I would just like to grab a great book. That's all. if it's you and me. celebrating all of, all, both of them with all of us because it is truly a blessing 
to have them all come here tonight. Thank y'all. Cheers. If it's you and me